This is part 10 of SQL Survey Interview Questions and Answers video series. In this video, we'll discuss how to join three tables in SQL Server. Joining three tables, or even more, is very similar to how we join two tables. Let's understand this with an example. We'll be using these three tables in this demo, departments, genders, and employees. Notice that with an employees table, department ID is a foreign key referencing department ID in departments table. Similarly, gender ID is also a foreign key referencing gender ID in genders table. Now, based on these three tables, we want to write a query which is going to produce the output that you can see here. We want to retrieve employee name, department name, and gender of every employee. Employee name comes from employees table. Department name comes from department's table and gender comes from gender's table. So if we have to produce this output, then we will have to join all these three tables. Let's see how to achieve that. The first step here is to create these three tables, which I have already done. And here is the SQL script that can do it. Now let's write the query. So we want to select some columns. We'll populate the select list in just a bit from employees. And we are going to join employees with departments table. So here we need to specify the join condition. So how are we going to join employees and departments? What is the common column between these two tables? Department ID. So we are going to use that column in both the tables to join these two tables. So employees dot department ID equals departments dot department ID. In the select list, we can now specify employee name and department name. So when we execute this query, notice that we get every employee name and the department to which they belong. Now we also need the gender of an employee. So to get the gender, we need to join genders table. So we use another join keyword and then specify the name of the table, genders. Now what is the common column to join genders table? If you look at employees and genders table, the common column is gender ID. So you're going to use that column to join these two tables now. So on genders dot gender ID equals employees dot gender ID. Now we can retrieve gender from genders table. So when we execute this query, notice that we get employee name, department name, gender. And look at the query here. We are joining all the three tables. Now, if you want to join another table, you simply use another join keyword, specify the name of the table, and join condition. All right, now let's look at another example. Now, let's say we want to display total number of employees grouped by department and then by gender. So within every department, I want to find out how many male and female employees are there. So if you look at IT department here, we don't have any female employees and total number of male employees is two. Similarly, in payroll department, we don't have any male employees and the total number of female employees is two. But within HR department, we have both male and female employees. That is, the total of male employees is one and female employees is one. So we want to produce this output. Let's see how to achieve that. So here we are retrieving the employee name, but now we don't want employee name. We want the department name and gender, and we want the total number of employees by department and by gender. So that means we will have to use group by. So what do we want to group by? We want to first group by department name and then group by gender. And to retrieve the total number of employees, we use the count aggregate function. So count of star, let's say, the column name is total employees. So now when we uh, execute this query, notice that you know the results are not sorted. To sort the results, let's use order by. We want to first sort by department name and then by gender name. And notice that we are still joining the three tables. So when we execute this query, notice that now you know we get the output that we have seen on the slide. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.